This is Hello Channel. Come with me for a fun and fascinating look at many types of racing cars, motorcycles, and go-karts. Today, we're going to a racetrack in Tooele, Utah. Utah is a state located in the western part of the United States in the Rocky Mountains. The racetrack we're visiting is Miller Motorsports Park. This park has one of the most modern and extensive racing facilities in the United States. You're looking at an aerial view of the racetrack right now. This track is located at the foot of the Rocky Mountains. Some of these mountains reach up to 12,000 feet above sea level, or 4,000 meters. The racing facility itself is about 5,000 feet above sea level. There are always lots of entertaining things happening at the track. Come with me. Today, we're going to the racetrack. This is a formula car. It can go very fast. On the racetrack, a formula car can drive 150 miles per hour or about 250 kilometers per hour. Notice the flame coming out of the back or rear of this car. You might think that the car is on fire, but it's not. This particular type of engine is a rotary engine. Rotary engine. It is manufactured by Mazda and produces a flame from the exhaust pipe while the driver is downshifting. It looks a little frightening, but there's nothing wrong with the car. The wings on the front and rear of this car create downforce. Downforce means air is forced over the wings, which creates downward pressure on the car. This downforce enables the car to turn corners at very high speeds. This car weighs nearly 1,200 pounds. The engine produces about 180 horsepower. The weight of a car relative to its engine power is called the power to weight ratio. Power to weight ratio. Racing cars are very light. They have powerful engines. As a result, Racing cars can travel at very high speeds. This is the rear wing. It is attached to the rear part of the car's chassis, or the frame of the car. The wing is set at an angle to create downforce at the rear of the car. It is made of lightweight aluminum. It is very strong. This is the cockpit. Cockpit. Notice the small steering wheel. Notice that the steering wheel does not form a complete circle. This allows the driver to see the gauges. If the steering wheel were a complete circle, it could block the driver's view of the gauges. The gauges provide important information to the driver. This is the cockpit with the steering wheel removed. 
The large gauge in the center is the speedometer, speedometer. The gauge to the left indicates oil pressure in the engine, and the gauge to the right indicates water temperature in the engine. The red handle to the left is for emergencies. It is used in case there is a fire. If the car catches fire, the driver pulls the red handle, which is attached to a fire extinguisher. This is the side pod, side pod. Like its name, it is located on the side of the car. Inside the side pod is a radiator, radiator. There is a side pod on the left side of the car and another side pod on the right side of the car. Two radiators keep the car's engine cool. Notice the metal tubes which surround the driver. These tubes form a roll cage, roll cage. They protect the driver in case there is an accident. The roll cage is designed to provide protection even if the car turns upside down. The wings actually slow the car down on the straight part of the track, but they enable the car to go more quickly through the turns. Overall, the wings make the car move more quickly. Notice the exposed tires on this car. This car is a formula car, formula car. Cars that race in formula classes have exposed tires like these. The tires are wide and very sticky and they help the car turn corners at high speeds. Notice that there is no tread on the tire. Tires without tread are called slicks, slicks. Slicks provide more surface area on the track than tires with regular tread patterns. This also enables the car to turn corners at higher speeds. As you can see, this car is designed to be very fast. It is a lot of fun to drive. Formula cars use very lightweight alloy rims, rims. Rims are also called wheels. Notice that this wheel has a single bolt in the middle. Most streetcars have four or five bolts which connect the wheel to the car. But racing cars use wheels with a single bolt to allow the wheel to be changed very quickly. This is the back of the car or the rear of the car. Here you can see the exhaust pipe, exhaust pipe. Remember when we saw flames coming from the back of the car? They were coming from the exhaust pipe. Next to the exhaust pipe is the car's suspension, suspension. The suspension springs on this car are red. The metal box above the exhaust pipe is the transmission, transmission. This car has five forward gears and one gear for reverse. 